Green Commute. Weighing the environmental impact of our transportation choices. Hello, learners. Today, we are going to discuss an important aspect of our daily routines, commuting. Our choice of transportation for commuting not only affects our time and convenience, but it also has significant implications on the environment. In this video, we'll delve into the environmental impact of different modes of transportation. We'll explore the advantages and disadvantages, and hopefully, you'll get a clear idea of why your commute matters to the planet. First things first, let's understand what we mean by environmental impact. In simple terms, this refers to the effect or influence that a particular action has on the natural world around us. This could include factors like emissions of greenhouse gases, air pollution, noise pollution, and the consumption of natural resources. When it comes to transportation, different modes have different environmental impacts. For instance, a car running on gasoline emits more carbon dioxide than a bicycle or a subway train. This is an important point to consider when choosing your mode of transport. For many people, driving a car to work or school is a daily routine. While it can be convenient, the environmental cost of this habit is high. Cars powered by fossil fuels release a large amount of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming. Furthermore, the production and disposal of cars also use significant amounts of energy and resources, adding to their environmental impact. Public transportation, like buses or trains, can be a much greener option. Even though they also emit greenhouse gases, the emissions per passenger are usually much lower than private cars, especially when the vehicles are full. Public transportation is also typically more energy efficient, and by reducing the number of cars on the road, it can decrease traffic congestion and air pollution. Bicycling and walking are arguably the most environmentally friendly ways to commute. They produce zero emissions, use no fossil fuels, and make no noise. They also have health benefits, making them an excellent choice if your commute is short enough. However, they may not be feasible for longer distances or in certain weather conditions. If driving is necessary, there are still ways to minimize your environmental impact. Electric vehicles produce no tailpipe emissions, though they still require electricity, which might be generated from fossil fuels. Carpooling, or sharing a ride with others, can also significantly reduce the emissions per person and lessen traffic congestion. That's a wrap, everyone. We hope this video helps you understand the environmental impact of your daily commute and inspires you to make greener transportation choices. Remember, even small changes in our habits can make a big difference for our planet. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.